My name is Eleanor and I'm a medical student at Manchester University. I want to investigate what happens after a sample of skin, known as a biopsy, is taken, and why there can be a wait of three to four weeks for the results to come back. To do this, we'll follow the journey of a patient. After spotting a suspicious mole, their GP has referred them to a rapid access clinic to see one of the specialist skin doctors, usually a consultant dermatologist. The doctor starts by checking the rest of their skin and then has a closer look using a dermatoscope, a specialist magnifying lens. For a definitive diagnosis, the mole needs to be surgically removed so that it can be looked at under the microscope. But what happens next? Once the mole is removed, it's put in a container with formaldehyde. This is a substance that stops the tissue from deteriorating. The tissue is sent to the hospital histopathology laboratory where it undergoes processing. First, one of the biomedical scientists looks at the whole sample and following a protocol, they select the parts of the sample that need to be submitted for analysis. These are made into blocks using paraffin wax. Thin sections of this are then cut and made into slides which are stained. Different stains can be used to tell us more about the cells. This process can take a couple of days. The slides are given to the dermatopathologist, a doctor who after successfully completing general medical training, specialised in the examination of different human tissues under a microscope and developed a special interest in the diagnosis of skin diseases. Some of the things they're looking for are the outline of the mole and how the cells forming the mole interact with the normal tissue differences in the size and shape of the cells forming the mole and if they're dividing, and how the cells are organised. It isn't always clear-cut, and when there is uncertainty, they may request additional tests to add to the evidence they analysed before forming an opinion. On occasions, they seek the opinion of other colleagues, sometimes in different hospitals, to make sure they come to the best possible conclusion on every single case. This whole process can take a couple of weeks or more, the next step is discussing the findings with other specialists involved in the care of the patients with skin cancer. This is called a multidisciplinary team, or MDT. This includes the surgeons, dermatologists, skin cancer nurse specialists, and the dermatopathologist. Together they come up with individualised plans for each patient. These meetings usually happen once a week. The patient has come back to clinic to receive their results. In this case, the mole was benign and they don't need further treatment. With some samples, the mole proves to be cancer, and the patient, with the full support of the medical team, then undergoes treatment. 